This morning we woke up to the shocking news that the Padma Shri actor Om Puri has left us. We went numb to say the least. After an hour or two we got talking to some of Puri's closest collaborators. The first one we contacted was filmmaker Govin Nehlani whose films Akrosh and Ardhasatya are still heralded as some of Puri's finest performances. Nehlani picked up the call but was in no state to talk as he was in deep shock. Not now, he said and hung up. Sir, I am very sorry to ask you this but uh, just a little if you could say four five lines on Om sir. Sir, not right now, not right now sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay. We then called up Mahesh Bhatt, who was a friend of Puri's from his days as a struggling actor in Mumbai. We could hear the immense grief in his voice as he spoke of his friend's passing. There was a distinct meltdown in his usually loud and clear voice, which even quivered at times as he spoke about the last days of Puri. On Om Puri, sir, I wanted to ask you that your association with him when I when I got the news. Uh, on my whatsapp from one of my friends from allahabad hmm. that uh, she had read hmm. on the news hmm. that om puri was no more yeah um, i was um, hurled into the memories of uh, the early 80s when uh, this was uh, before us and he uh, he had just made an impact uh. Uh, on the consciousness of the indian film industry by his stunning performance in akrosh mm. which was directed by govin elani and it was written by vijay tendulkar mm. uh, where he plays the role of a, a person who's mute throughout mm. uh, keeps quiet Doesn't speak at all, mm. and um, he had a explosive uh, impact on the consciousness of the nation uh, and the industry. But since it was an art film, mm. uh, it took a while for the film industry to warm up to the brilliance of Om Puri. Mm. Uh, this was followed by his stunning portrayal in uh, in. Uh, Alam Satya. Yeah. Yeah. Then we saw him in Jaane Bhi Bhayaro, mm. and then we saw him in uh, Par, mm. which was uh, um, a picture of Gautam Ghosh. Mm. Uh, he was one of the pillars of the art movement. Mm. Uh, um, Nasiruddin Shah, Shabana Azmi, Om Puri. Yeah. And these these were the key uh, players. Mm-hmm. or what is called was the art movement and um, but he was an unpretentious uh, man who was very very clear that he wanted to do a variety of roles in his life and uh, that's why he did not hesitate to do what is called the mainstream popular hindi cinema mm-hmm. also with equal commitment mm-hmm. uh he was one of the few people who made uh, a foray into the western space hmm. by he did some amazing uh, roles in some american and british films also yeah but uh, uh, i woke up to his stardom in the west when i went for the bite the mango film festival which was uh, held each year in the uk bradford which had a sizable uh, british was of asian origin hmm. which they mobbed him like he was a superstar hmm. and um, then we also traveled to the kara film festival in karachi together oh and uh, he uh, was one of the few brave voices which did not uh, get timid in spite of the winds of hatred blowing all around us which wanted to shut the doors and snap the ties to uh, with the pakistani talent yeah uh, from the entertainment space uh, he was of course his life gravitated into a darker zone because his personal life went through an upheaval and he uh, got a little hooked on to alcohol got hooked on to alcohol 
then the industry the industry uh, was uh, was buzzing all the time with his anecdotes of his drunkenness and i think that indicated that he had lost uh, uh, some kind of a control that he had mm. in his formative years mm. and he was heading fast uh, into what is called uh, an abyss of gloom and doom Mm. that was what people used to say around him and um, uh he was uh, very harshly treated by the by the media and the world when he made certain uh, uh mm. so called un politically incorrect statements mm. post uh, uh the attack terror attacks mm. um on uh, iraq country Hmm. so he uh, stood um, apart as an actor hmm. as a human being and uh, today when he is no more um, i can't but uh, uh, say that a part of me goes with him because um, i think of those uh, passionate nights we spent discussing in my home over long hours of drinking you know hmm. about uh, we should discuss about art um uh, cinema life hmm. uh, but did you were you not tempted to work with him in some of your movies some of them we couldn't uh, uh, get you know if when we don't work together it's not because we don't want to work mm-hmm. it just happens that um, we have great respect for each other hmm. but a project just did not happen hmm. which kind of because he was a unique actor you couldn't just take him in any role hmm. you hmm. needed a role for him which yeah. was uh, which could use his genius but uh, a man who contributed greatly to hmm. deconstruct uh, this fairy tale land uh, and open it up to realism huh. uh, which today you see in many of our movies mm. if they have become realistic mm. and they have uh, not uh, those typical uh, smooth skinned fair faced actors is because of the likes of om puri yeah but did you did you also last question sir did you uh did he share with you any of his personal trauma towards his uh, the upheavals in his personal life at some point and the drinking problem or no he was a very shy man uh, personally when he would mean but you know you show respect to each other when somebody is going through a frail fragile um uh, phase in his life mm. you don't embarrass that person by yeah by confronting him and saying that look hey why what you eating you of course i kept on having innumerable people who were very close to him uh, coming and telling me that all is not well with the story but hmm. uh, so such a life figure when you are uh, unhinged because of some personal problem yeah uh, it becomes very difficult to get into the depths of your heart and your soul yeah and to and stick you back okay But problem pro- personal problems do affect your do have toll on one's health right with your experience and yeah they do i mean uh, that's what people around used to say that he was being very negligent about him his physical well being and his mental well being hmm. and he was uh, gravitating uh, fast into the abyss of gloom and doom yeah. and there was nothing he could do that's what people used to say yeah but uh, i was said uh, why people cannot pull themselves out is uh. something which we can never really simplify and explain Okay
Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, bye. Meanwhile, whispers in Trishul, the building where the icon's second wife Nandita Puri stays with their son Ishan, have claimed that a visibly inebriated Om Puri had turned up at their doorstep yesterday night. Sources further claimed that a domestic help from Nandita's home had visited Om Puri in the morning, and after discovering the actor in a terrible state, she called up Nandita, who rushed to take her ex-husband to the hospital ASAP. We then texted Nasiruddin Shah, who talked on Puri's demise, to which he replied, "Don't feel like talking, but we'll write something about him later." Shabir Boxwala, who had worked with Om Puri on Gupt, told us that he is shocked that a post mortem was conducted on Puri's body. He spent a full minute after that to gather his thoughts and sent us a text which read, "Main ek vakt mein ek hi kam karta hu. Jab pita hu, to pita hu, aur jab kam karta hu, to kam karta hu." Clearly, Boxwala would like to remember Puri with his line from Gupt. One of the few people who had spoken to him during his last days was Madhur Bhandarkar. The actor and the filmmaker had become friends after Puri convinced him to take a trip to Lahore to accept an award. Bhandarkar was apprehensive of travelling to Pakistan, but the late actor was by his side throughout the trip, and the two had a ball together. Fifteen days ago, he called me. He said, "Karachi ka plan ban raha hai. Tum bhi chalo." I was shooting Indu Sarkar in Karjat while he was in Mathiran. He said, "Aata hu tere set par." That was the last I heard from him," said Bhandarkar. Have you met him or have you interacted with him? Kya kya mil? I have interacted some uh, some twelve fifteen days back. Okay. And uh, it it is like nothing. He was just asking me about my new film, Indu Sarkar, and generally we were talking, discussing, and nothing. He said, "Okay, I'll be going to Mathiran this side." So I'm shooting in Karja. So I said, so he said, so I said, I'm going to drop here at uh, the studio. I said, yeah, yeah, please, sir, you're most welcome. I said, generally, then he was talking about uh, last year how, like, he he he, he took me yes. to Pakistan, Lahore. Yes. Huh. And uh, last December, because I was I received that Rafi Peer uh, Memorial Award over there. For yeah. Contribution of Indian cinema. Yeah. Uh, in uh, women centric cinema. <clears throat> so. Yeah. So he was the one who insisted me that I should uh, come with them to Rahot because I I I was a little apprehensive, but he said, you know, I've been so many times. You should come with me once. And I remember spending three days with Omji uh, from Mumbai to Pamrasar, Pamrasar to Vaga border, then Lahore. So we had lots of fun over there. Lots of you know, I mean, huh. I was really really it was great time. Three days I spent. When, You know, it was it was really nice to be with. You know, we used to have dhaba tea, this that. We used to eat yeah. stuff on the road and all. You know, those things, chalk and all. Unforgettable really memory. Unforgettable memory I had with uh, Omji. Remarkably memory. And he was fun. Yeah, he was a fun yeah. guy. I mean, basically very down to earth, very mm-hmm. cut, uh, cut, uh, cut, cut, uh, and warmth he had. He was talking yeah. to everybody. You know, those those moments were always there. But how did you make that call when you were in? Uh... on uh, this thing uh, karjat the uh, left then he called me he called me because he, my my business manager and he shares same same person is there his work also was handled by recently with my business manager recently okay. so he just called me ke are to shooting kar hindu sarkar ki this that and all very nice you know he was appreciating it hmm. and then he said chalo main us taraf rahunga to i'll drive in drop i said i'm shooting here only hmm. At uh, Karjat for one month. So he hmm. said, "Sir, if I get time, I'll uh, Mathiran from Abhishek. I'm going to I'll drop in." I said, "Please, oh. sir, you're most welcome." Okay. And he was talking about again. Okay, Karachi. They go take it. Salta, I'm your time. Last time I took you to Lahore. Okay. I'll take you to Karachi. Huh. And fun will come there. It's much a little time. So my friend, last time, your I'm too tired. I'm not going to come. So the first one I said, "I'm going to tell you, sir. My shooting is done. We'll let you." I said, "You come to my house. Program is made. Yeah." Yeah, and when today morning I came on the set and I was like uh, about to take a shot and I got a shock of my life. He said no more. I mean, it was really shocking. I can't mm-hmm. believe it. It's, mm-hmm. This is this life really, really. For me, it's like I don't know. This week has been very sad for me. Last week, I mean, just a five days back, my friend Abhi Singh passed away. Last week, last week. Yeah, my Who friend, na, yeah. obvious disease. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, I was unable to hear you for a moment because yeah, yeah, I'm in yeah, the traffic, yeah. huh? So, yeah. and this, this, 
and this is just morning i came to your home you said this tragic yaar i want to say 2017 has been started with two uh, uh, person whom i was very very closely known i used to been on with him on i worked with him umpuri as an actor also hmm. he worked with me as an actor also uh, so it's a tragic yaar this is really tragic uh, that sad sad on the set when you worked with him kaisa tha wo oh. cool cool he was very cool he was never a person like uh, you know he we, we worked with we were very friendly he was like you know that time in fact i was new also 2004 i remember working with him hmm. uh, 2003 in fact yeah, both of the movie got released so i was just two films old like i had to do satta and chandni baat but he was very cool he was very nice you know talking to everybody we had chatru ji akshay sunil chetty irfan paresh raval everybody in that movie hmm. but very nice ambient he was one person who was like you know very very down to earth when never showed ki you na know? i think he's a versatile actor when his journey from so many movies in akrosh arjun satya to all kind of role he's one person who has devoured every kind of role yeah so i believe he was one time uh, one uh, take actor uh, for you and for others yeah yeah definitely we will miss him the whole industry will miss him the his contribution in indian cinema is immense apart from that international also he has put uh, uh, india on global map yeah. the kind of cinema he has done we represent him in the city of joy where he played a rickshaw puller in that hmm. i mean he he could have wear any cap i mean i know one thing better yeah. than uh, he was he was one person who was very down i mean he was a very active person yaar he i mean never heard he is not well or something i never yeah. heard about him he is always like i used to meet him in conferences i used to meet him in some seminar i used to meet him in planes i used to meet him in delhi or you know yeah. he was the one person who should constantly in the lit festival so he was one person who should keep on traveling i would yeah. say kabhi kidhar kabhi kidhar kabhi kidhar mm-hmm. always on the move yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was always on the move. It's it's very shocking. I mean to say, you know. But कहीं आपको लगा last में एक दो साल में did he share with you anything about his personal life, the grief? He was no 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 no. Because he was going through personal problems, हाँ. No 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 never never never. I think I spent three days with him, almost day night in Lahore. But he was fun. We danced. We like you know we had party. We never 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 no not a iota also. हम्म हम्म ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है What a tragedy. Puri's demise is an irreparable loss. Rest in peace, Om Puri sir.